Pairing up certain foods is natural, like peanut butter and jelly, but combining some foods can actually make them much more beneficial to your health than eating them separately. Registered dietitian Cynthia Sass, author of Cinch, Conquer Your Cravings, Drop Pounds and Lose Inches, and she is here with some great food combos for us this morning. Cynthia, good to see you again. How are you? You too, thank you. All right, so let's talk about some of these... Uh, Superpower foods that we've got right here. Now, with this, you just got a little guacamole, a little salsa separately. They do Delicious okay. Delicious combination, right? So salsa counts as a vegetable. It's super high in antioxidants, uh -huh. and guacamole is loaded with heart-healthy fat and vitamin E. But when you combine them, you get eight times more alpha carotene and 13 times more beta carotene, which are heart-healthy antioxidants. And you also get four times more lutein, which protects your eyes. Yep. So the Ohio State researchers found that when they looked at salsa and salads with and without avocado, adding just two and a half tablespoons of avocado, a little bit more than half of a golf ball, boosted these antioxidants by these high levels. So here we have some fish tacos with a little salsa and guacamole. Yeah. And here we have some fresh salsa and guac with some, these are actually baked tortilla chips. Look delicious. It does. Now, with guacamole, that's what's considered a good fat because Absolutely. it is. Okay, so I mean, some it people might look at it. It lowers inflammation, it boosts up the good cholesterol, it lowers the bad cholesterol, loaded with vitamin E and potassium, which helps control blood pressure. And the one thing we want to stress portion control is obviously <laughs> key here because guacamole, right. it is good fat, but you can't have a vat of it. You have True. to, you know, like you said, a little bit more than a golf ball. Now, we've got these two foods red peppers and some, uh, we've got just, it looks like beans. Some, uh, some beans. Here. One it. of my favorite foods, actually. So these are really high in fiber, but also iron. And red peppers are one of the highest vitamin C foods. In fact, half a cup has more than a medium orange. But when you combine them, you get six times more iron out of those beans. So iron is not well absorbed from plant-based foods. You only get about 2 to 20 percent of it into okay. your bloodstream. But when you add vitamin C, you boost the absorption six times. So here we have a vegetarian chili with both beans and red pepper. Mm -hmm. And then we have a red pepper. This is roasted red pepper and white bean dip really? with those corn chips. Can I give it a shot? Absolutely. It looks good. It and looks that's like a, a case. If you have some red peppers left over, and they're starting to go, put them in the oven, roast them up, and you puree them with some white beans. A great way to get those. A high source of protein as well with the beans, Absolutely, right? yes. Okay. Let's move on to these. Okay, foods. Broccoli, broccoli and tomatoes. And tomato. So these are both cancer-fighting superfoods, but okay. when you combine them, you get more cancer protection, specifically prostate cancer and ovarian cancer. So a very interesting study, when rats had prostate tumors and they were fed both of these vegetables together, yep. the tumors did not grow as much as when they were fed the separate vegetables. So you get this sort of two plus two equals five effect here. So classic Italian dish, some sauteed um, vegetables together, yep. a little bit of Parmesan on top, or you could do kebabs so on the grill. Cool. It's amazing when you combine the two, like you said, you see the numbers just elevate like Food that. Food synergy is called. Cranberries and apples. So these are super high in antioxidants, and what we found here is when you add them together, again, you get more antioxidants from the combination than you would from the sum of the parts. So in the research, um, the American Institute for Cancer Research looked at these separately and together. And their number one antioxidant-rich food was cranberries, but yeah. when they added apples to it, they had even greater antioxidant capacity of the combination. Yeah. So here we have a smoothie with some yogurt with the two combined, and then just a simple salad with some walnuts and the two fruits on top. Great, uh, and the fight against disease protection and everything along those lines. Now we've got, this is uh, this struck me as odd, pepper and tea. I love this one. So I use pepper as a seasoning, so just buy some loose, um, loose green tea leaves and combine the two. You can put the tea leaves right in the grinder with it. Yeah. When you do this, you get an increased absorption of something called EGCG, which is an antioxidant in tea that has weight loss power. And the combination boosts the absorption by a whopping 130%. So go ahead and use it as a rub on chicken or fish, or you can actually marinate them too with yep. some vinegar and some like citrus juice. Great way to combine the two. It looks pretty good on the salmon right there. And finally, we've got some grains here, some pasta. Whole grains, and some, uh, quinoa, garlic, and some onions. Garlic and onions. So the combination of the two enhances the absorption of iron and zinc. So iron helps you move oxygen through your system, and zinc helps support your immune system. So we have some pasta cooked up with some garlic and onions, mm. and then here we have our quinoa cooked with vegetables. Great way to get more minerals into your diet, as well as those servings of whole grains. Just make sure after the garlic and the onions, you have plenty of gum <laughs> <with you> as <laughs> well. That's right. <laughs> it's always good to complement your diet with some gum after this. Cynthia, thanks. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. You Amazing. too. All right.